Hello, ladies, and welcome. You're listening to the Wise Up and Rise Up radio show. That's all about empowering you to wise up so you can rise up and increase your confidence, self-love, and achieve your dream. Me, your host, LJ Jackson, on Amazing Women of Power, the world's leading positive programming network, powered by Raven International. So if you're a woman that makes investing in your personal growth a priority or you're looking to be empowered and inspired to do so, then this show is for you. So stay tuned as I interview Dr. Fitness USA. So for the ladies who were listening to the show last week, we were able to interview Bautista Grumold of Dr. Fitness USA. And today we have the amazing opportunity to interview the man himself. So ladies, before I bring him on, I'm going to share a little bit about him with you, and then I'll also have him share a little bit about his story as well. So he is Dr. Fitness USA, an international body designer, owner, and founder of the International Institute of Body Design. He holds a prestigious title, Professor, now I think this is French, so he'll probably have to correct me on this, ladies, but I'm going to try. So it's Professor de Culture Physique Wider, and is certified by the IFBB International Federation of Bodybuilders. Dr. Fitness USA is on the board of doctors of Indo Positive International, a global organization that provides alternate health choices to over 175 million women worldwide. Dr. Fitness USA is also a published author of several books and a recognized professional empowerment speaker as a pioneer for his successful work with pain management and postural realignment, which affects mood behavior and productivity. So without further ado, Dr. Fitness USA, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, It's a pleasure. And so, Dr. Fitness USA, tell us for the listeners listening to the show who haven't had the pleasure and, you know, although I read your bio or a little blurb about your bio, tell us more about your background. Uh, Well, let's say I have 45 to 50 years of experience of working uh, with uh, women and men. Uh, As you know, in many, many years ago, uh, there was the subject of cellulite or uh, injuries or what method a woman uh, ought to undertake to be uh, more physically active or healthy. And most of the systems, in fact, all systems were based on male energy or male implemented and I was a pioneer in changing the direction how one would look at creating a program that's a sustainable throughout one's life. It's amazing because I didn't realize that most of it was created based on male energy. It actually still is. It is still is. The uh, women, in a sense, have copy has been introduced to strength training or the world of gyms uh, by males and they've adapted that egotistic type of lifestyle without any representation to if the music in their body really suits them or if they're... And so is that one of the reasons why you got involved in doing this and this became your mission? Uh, yes, yes, that's, uh, that's true. There were just uh, situations where uh, women didn't really have the, what we call revealing the truth of what direction they ought to go in in order to ch- achieve some of the uh, visions that they had for themselves. They actually were uh, pushed into a channel. Uh, well, the uh, analogy here would be if you wanted to go to a foreign country and you were on a ship and you changed the direction by two degrees, you might wind up somewhere else. So, Wow, that's a, a great and crazy way to look at it because I had never thought of that. So thanks for bringing okay. that to uh, our attention so that we could start uh, to make changes. Absolutely. And so, uh, yeah. Dr. Fitness USA, um, I wanted to know for you in this journey, um, out of curiosity, were you ostracized or were there, like, what the mean male-dominated and, and with you having something that's revolutionary and, and able to bring about, like, long-lasting, sustainable change, did you, were you met with a resistance at all? I'm actually met with a resistance every single day. You know, uh, anybody that's new, whether it's Einstein or Bruce Lee, 
anybody that's a pioneer in what they're doing is always met with resistance because they, the, they are, the people that have that resistance have come to a conclusion in their studies. And you know, when somebody says, I conclude, it means they stop thinking. They close down their brain. So they're not very open to change. Especially men are very difficult to want to change and they sometimes create a direction that women follow, which is not always in their best interest. Wow. And so would you say that, because I was going to ask you, you know, with uh, Bautista being on the show last week, I was going to ask you, was it scary to embark on a uh, listing weight for a dancer, but has it been scary for you at all, or or, or, or talk more about that? Uh, no, uh, she had mentioned that it was a chance meeting, and uh, she had done five uh, disciplines of spirituality. She did five years Gnostic, five years Buddhism, five years Kabbalah. She had gurus. Uh, she was a professional entertainer, ballet person before that. And here uh, she had a magnificence about her, but she was really stuck in her journey. I know that she said that she did a mock-up board. I came by uh, her table and instinctively I was drawn to her and I said, who are you? And she said, well, I'm Batista. I said, well, I'm a body designer. And uh, her response immediately was, oh, that's what I need. So I didn't have to prove myself. I had uh, a way for her to get more information. So when I sat down with her, I, I asked her to come back. To, I was in a restaurant and I asked her to uh, make an appointment in my office and we would uh, have a conversation and see how I would be of service to her. See, I read the music to the person's body. It's like a perfect musical score. So a person could be exercising, but it doesn't mean the notes are in the right place. Mm. So so ba as based on a couple of things. One, they fill out a, uh, a questionnaire so I know that they don't have any medical disease or they might be under uh, psychological therapy. And then we uh, take some photos and we line up their body just like a chiropractor would to see how it fits in the line of what a healthy body looks like. And then usually uh, the person gasps and they say, uh, oh, that can't be me. Uh, and I ask, well, who do you think it might be? <laughs> it's kind of funny because people don't really uh, realize uh, they have an obstruction to weigh their body really is at at the moment and especially for women once it starts to change through the years and the hormones change they almost give up so what that would look like is you can have a person that comes in and I noticed that that women have uh, a lot of women have very muscular legs and uh, actually muscles are good because they're shapely but their upper body takes on a tremendous amount of weight and with that weight the shape of the body changes, kind of like the hunchback in Notre Dame, the shoulders round forward, there's a curvature in the middle of their back, and uh, they don't know, the women don't know that that's actually reversible with the body design formula system. So what they do is they enroll in programs to get in shape, whether it's by themselves or with personal trainers, and what they're really doing is losing weight. And losing weight is a secondary condition. Strength training done specifically gives you the tools to actually realign the posture in the body and at the same time it strengthens the nervous system so women can make better choices and set better standards and learn to say no to loved ones in order to take better care of themselves. So there's a, different, there's a different way of looking at what approach the person wants to take. A lot of times you'll run into people that say, I do yoga. Uh, well, yoga is great, but it doesn't give you the ability to restructure your body. And it doesn't give you the chance to uh, activate certain fibers in the body that yoga doesn't address, and it doesn't allow... Uh, serotonin to be introduced m at a massive amount into the brain that helps you to control those impulses in life. So you're able to stay better focused and you're able to make better decisions 
and uh, strength training, according to Dr. Fitness, is uh, sustainable through your life, and it's actually fun and very soft on the body because we learn to never do anything that feels uncomfortable. It's the power of the prescription or the notes in the music. We don't ask people like to do, do more what a person subjects themselves with a personal trainer. And if we go further on that, now we've got CrossFit, we've got a lot of modalities, and the business is great. There's a 75% injury rate in CrossFit, and personal training gyms. Most of these modalities have no, they don't have any up-to-date equipment so that women can train comfortably and have fun at it. The equipment is either outdated or the type of activity creates a schizophrenic brain, but the women are being shortchanged. So through the years uh, that I've been around, I've gotten powerful women that hear what I'm talking about and uh, support the change that's occurring right now because we're the future of bodybuilding. I think bodybuilding is a is the greatest tool that a person can annex to because they can train at any age comfortably. And, and when they train in a certain regime, it'll give them more time. Okay. So then, Dr. Fitness, you were saying, then what's the difference between this system and other fitness modalities? You've talked a little bit about that, but... Um can you elaborate a little bit more? Sure. You need three different things to be uh, successful. One is mindset. That means you actually want to be healthier or if you have a mind to exercise. The uh, second thing is environment. That's the most overlooked piece of the equation. Uh, people uh, go into, especially women, they go into a, a gym. That's a place that has uh, equipment, and they already assess that this gym is fully equipped. What they don't know is it doesn't have the right pair of shoes. Those shoes might be pinching their feet or they might be slipping and sliding. So you can never be successful because you're always struggling against the resistance on a piece of machinery that's outdated. Okay? Then they get the idea, well, if I do more, and then uh, sometimes in a gym they have people doing what we call walking lunges. Uh, Walking lunges is where you're striding and squatting down. And, of course, if you took a jug of water in a supermarket and you did that, you'd be arrested. Then you have people running up and down stairs, which is inappropriate behavior because it causes knee problems, and it's not aerobic exercise. So there's a lot of nonsense out there. Then, if that doesn't work, now they've compounded it with cross-fitting training. Well, cross-training is a sport that, by choice, you can join but people join it, because, especially women, because they think they're going to get in shape. But there's no uh, one piece of equipment in a cross-fitting gym that has anything to do with their body. So they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So it adds to the stress that women put themselves under. The more, the better. The more, the better. And uh, the, the saying is that women need to feel good in order to do good. And less is more. So you need to get the right, yeah, if you have the right pair of shoes, you know that you will look forward to going for a walk. And as you go for a walk, this becomes part of your lifestyle. So then it's mindset, environment, and you were going to say there's a third? Educate, yes. You're very good. You were paying attention. Education, that's the body design program or Dr. Fitness USA. The program is set up so that in as little as three sessions, And those three sessions comprise of being with a teacher three to four hours, sometimes five. So they can have a drink of water. They can go slower. They can ask questions. We can show them how an exercise is done conventionally and how to ergonomically make it more suitable to their environment. And after three sessions, they're released into other gyms. It doesn't matter where they live in different parts of the world because I I actually uh, research the equipment in each gym and I can tell immediately if the person will have fun in that gym. You you know, especially especially for women that's five foot two or three, most of the equipment isn't made to accommodate their uh, stature. So the equipment has to be modified so they can have a happy time in the gym. 
So one of the things in the body design program is we increase a woman's strength 20 or 30% in 20 minutes. So we can take a woman that's uh, 59 years old, that's a retired accountant, maybe uh, five foot three, 105 pounds, working with a trainer in a Pacific area. When they come to see me, uh, when I ask them a question, I can tell that they just wasted their time. They went to a trainer's place that has equipment that's built for a football player. So they can never be comfortable, plus the equipment isn't really uh, set up in a safe or comfortable way that they can make progress. And uh, we, we, I actually was able to find her a, a new gym and to instruct her in the new gym, but in uh, 20 minutes, from only ever lifting three pounds, she was leg pressing 435 pounds. So any normal woman is uh, able to leg press maybe uh, at least uh, the first time out about 275 and they'll stay with 325 pounds through their program once a week. Wow. And, uh, now, now, because the, the strength comes from the grounding of your body and sends energy upwards. So what women have been told is if, if they lift heavier weights, they're actually going to get bulkier. Yes, that is a true statement if you're working with a trainer or yourself because what they're doing is they're compounding too much exercise to produce too much muscle flow in a specific area. They're not a body designer. They're not going to sit uh, like Stephen Hersey, which is myself, a.k.a., and sit there for uh, two weeks and work three, three, uh, three to six hours a day working on a blueprint for your body, uh, knowing that each exercise causes an action and a result and has a certain intimate feeling in the body. You, you want the exercise to flow like the river, so the person will always want to be back. And the, the strengthening of the body in that instant controls their nervous system. So it's it's very endearing, the program. So we uh, create uh, warrior women, but from the feminine side. That sounds and, awesome. Uh, it is awesome because in the body design formula, we do stretch, but it's done with weight. So people don't associate uh uh, strength training with stretching, and that is true. Most of them, the, especially women, they don't stretch at all with weights. What they do is they uh, stretch in between exercise. They do tons of uh, uh, stretching before they work out, which uh, leads to injury. Uh, there, there's not a lot of education right now. There's things in books. But there's not a lot of education for women. So uh, Batista has come, has come up with a revolution, uh, first of all, stronger than medicine. And she's coming out with a, a specialized ebook that's like the encyclopedia that educates women the power that they have and the, how to make the right choices. So right choices would be, uh, if there was a tip I can say, is that when a woman is deciding to uh, work on her body, she needs to decide does she want to lose weight or she wants to change her metabolism and exchange the fat content in her body, especially around the organs, to replace it with a muscle cell. See, that's a big question because that's where people go or women go. They get caught into losing weight. They, they very rarely get it up. They, they very rarely get an opportunity to to uh, change the sculpting of their body. And then, if they were to work out with a trainer, you, you know, I work with I work in an environment where we have incredible looking bodies as trainers. But I don't hire any of them because I see what they're doing with their clients. <laughs> they're mostly on their cell phone. Okay, so if you have a trainer and you want to be a smart woman, why, uh, write it down. Get the person to commit to putting some time in and giving you a script of what you did that week and then go home and all you have to do is sit down and let's say there were six exercises, you can say, okay, I did exercise, well, well, well uh, my body was kind of uncomfortable. I wasn't even grounded properly. Uh, you know, I need a lumbar support or I need something. 
Or the next exercise, well, that didn't really feel good. You understand how you can start to see if the program that the person is putting together is actually making you feel better. Right. You see, they don't think about that. They they say they, they put all the power into the trainer. Oh, I have a trainer. My trainer is really great. I feel really good today. Wow, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. But so then, Dr. Fitness, you'll say, what would you say is the yin and yang of strength training based on that, what you've shared so far? Uh, the, the yin and yang is the male energy goes in and they just kill the weights or they, they add so much stress on their body. They're doing everything. Uh, they're stretching. They're lifting weights. They're running up and down stairs. Uh, you can see it in their face, the frowns, the wrinkles. Uh, they're focused. Their eyes are like glaring out like guys used to be. The feminine energy is very, very relaxed. They're very educated. They know how to have a comfortable seat. They know, it, because they have a script, they know, they know how to, uh, first of all, adjust the machine. They know how many reps that they need to do. They know how to uh, uh, relax and not uh, like stress out certain muscles because they're in a state of relaxation so they can contract their muscles more. It's a, you know, the thing is to be educated so that you can function independent of anybody else because then you can go on your own time schedule and you have your own rhythm. Everybody likes different music. When you go with a trainer, they overpower you like you cannot believe. You don't even have a life. And, and and they hold a lot of prestige today, even more than a doctor. They're like, God, if you've got a trainer, man, you, you are really, really in the game of going nowhere. And that has to also do for women trainers. The women trainers are uh, are overtaking the male trainers as far as male dominance. Okay? So uh, I can – my the, in the prescription, when I create a prescription – we get w women to work out by themselves. So there's a whole educational process of how to lift the weight, how to put it down. We don't touch the weights. I don't even get in their headspace. When I talk to a woman, I just actually whisper. I whisper, and then I stand totally away from the person. I never enter their, their zone. And people are overstepping the boundaries of touching body parts, uh, even... Uh, to the extent of lying on top of women. Uh, there's some really, uh, I wouldn't say gyms are that safe from my point of view. There's a lot of things that could be, so that's why I ask women to get behind me because I can make changes for them if I have the power of women. And that's where Endo Positive has come in. It's a tremendous organization. The person is a tremendous Pioneer also, and uh, she wrote a book, uh, Home Alone, and that organization is in five countries and spreading, and uh, I was honored in a sense that when she heard what I was about, it was the first a missing tool in their programs. They offer a lot of different modalities of health, but I'm the first person in the history of endopositive endometriosis that is offering a strength training program to deal with the pain that they have in their body and to bring their lifestyle to a higher level of achievement and that's sustainable. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you're sharing this information with us because I, to be honest with you, I've always wondered, like, I don't like gyms, and I and I would try to, you know, when I talk to my friends and family, different people, I'm like, there's something about the gym or the energy or, like, I don't know, so I just don't like it. And I've, you know, tried uh, different trainers in the past, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm like, I'm sorry, I just don't do gyms. And so you're helping educate me to understand why I felt that way for so many years. Uh, you're 100% right. So I, I, that, that's the beauty of talking with me because – Actually, the gym, if you pick the right one and you have the right program, is your avenue of happiness. Like if we take a Oprah Winfrey, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, 
she, yeah. uh, you know, as a celebrity, she's gained and lose weight, but nobody ever taught her that even with all her personal training, she never developed a muscle. What she got involved in is losing weight. She never replaced her metabolism, which should be 75% water, with an actual muscle cell that won't turn to fat once it's developed. The, the whole industry is based on this celebrity stuff. You know, I, I uh, go to some events and we've got like world-class so-called celebrity trainers. They look good. They sound good. They've got a professional website up. And everything about them is about zero to help women. It's all a facade. Uh, you have a room full of elastics and ba balls. What does that got to do with uh, giving you the tools to change your life? And it's based on high intensity. We, in Body Design Formula, we work on uh, impact exercise where you don't jump up and down. Your body is always rounded and it feels good. Like um, So, uh, you know, I, I believe that what you experience is the real deal, that, that you didn't like the gyms. And uh, I probably if I looked at the gym that you looked at, I probably wouldn't like it either. So if you ask if I'm controversial, yeah, I'm controversial because I want standards set so all women could have an opportunity to have some fun in their training and it transcends down into their children. Even if they were heavy to begin with, if they have some good habits, the children that follow will be of a slimmer uh, descent as they grow up. So it, it's really, really great. I, I show pictures uh, uh, of people that, in a sense, are so grotesque that it's hard to look at the picture. And they've tried every avenue of uh, even operations. And then I show an alternate picture where they ask me, well, who's that same person? Well, that same person had a hundred percent, a hundred pound weight loss within a year. They have a different shape, and I never talked about diet or aerobics to them. You see, see, people always say, "Well, how much time, uh, diet, aerobics? What does that got to do? You don't even have the house that you love or want to own." So all these things is furnishing the house. You're trying to approach it backwards. You can't just touch food just like that. That's move, food, uh, move behavior. You take a, a person's crutch away, how are they going to survive? You have to wean them off slowly. You have to introduce their habit and their mindset. So I don't know any women that aren't on my program that that's, uh, you know, we, I keep records and uh, for the last 20 years they're all we're still working out because yeah, the yeah, it's great. And it's very relaxing. Even if you went to the gym and did one exercise, you can elevate your strength 20 or 30 percent and go back home and you'll have a great week. So uh, what I want to mention is they can work out once a week and that strength increase will last them two or three weeks. It's like having a car. You can take it for a drive anytime you want. So they don't get caught in this uh, two, three time a week uh, in, uh, rhythm that really stresses them out. Because yeah. what happens is how, how how are they going to handle it all? Yeah, for a busy lifestyle especially. So, uh, you know, and, uh, and the, the, we do have two books out is uh, How to Lose Weight to Look Good. Uh, uh, it's got my name and Batista. Women can look into that. It gives them a stepping stone. Uh, if women would like to uh, write or ask questions, that's okay too. What would be great is if I had women... Uh, sign up on our YouTube channel. So, Batista, because if you have certain subscribers, uh, then uh, Batista is entitled to take uh, more educational uh, courses to enhance most of the video taping that we do. So, what's that YouTube channel again? It's, uh, you go to YouTube.com, and then you put in Dr. Fitness USA, and it brings up my channel, and you just subscribe. Because we have all sorts of goodies that we're putting on there. So it's uh, it's very endearing for women, and it uh, educates women on what their choices are. Remember, women need to feel good in order to do good, and men need to do good in order to feel good. And what's happening in, the, in, in relationships, that the men go to work out, some of them do, but the women don't realize that's a feminine attribute. When men take care of themselves, that's a feminine attribute. Okay, it's their ego that 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 drives their body. So it's working out. No, he's taking care of himself. He's hanging out with his feminine side. And I'd have to say 
to women to stop having women share their feelings with you unless it's really intimate because the more you ask a man to share his feelings, the more you're going to be doing all the work. We only care about women's feelings. And when we talk to men, we only want to know what they think, what they want, and what their decision is or how they can support women. So don't go talk to him in, in, a, in a social situation about money and things like that. Let them take action. And, and just like personal training, mark it down and see if you feel good about all the things that uh, they're offering you as gifts. And then if that doesn't work, then you can say you can put it in the same class as personal training. But again, in closing, the strongest avenue for continuing health today, scientifically proven, and it's overtaking any other activity, including yoga and running and all these things, is uh, strength training. And the training that we do is specific strength training. So we're bringing uh, education to women and body to the future. Summarizing what I... Uh, the main points that stuck out to me was, you know, just helping us be educated and that we can have fun and just go with our rhythm and rest in our feminine energy while we're doing this. And to balance our busy lives, we only have to do this uh, at least one time a week, which is how perfect is that? It's great. I just want to add, uh, the re uh, one thing I, uh, that I can add is that when women, because you're thinking and feeling simultaneously, once women get into their intellectual mind, they might have gone through divorce or somebody got sick and they have more responsibilities. If they stay in their intellectual mind 24 hours a day, they absolutely ruin their immune system because you're based on feelings and your body, unlike a man, can't sustain that type of stress level. So when you go to the gym on the Dr. Fitness program, it has a way of letting the steam out of the kettle. And then you can go back and feel one is you're going to release a tremendous amount of endorphins. You're going to feel good because you're going to get a sense that you're not losing who you are and your image of looking healthier and looking up to the world will be more present in the clothes that you actually put on, which will fit better than not training. So, Dr. Fitness, you say thank you so much for being on the show today. Ladies, you've been listening to the Wise Up and Rise Up radio show. I'll see you back here next week, Monday, 1230 Pacific, 230 Central, and 330 Eastern Standard Time on Amazing Women of Power, the world's leading positive programming network, powered by Raven International. Take care. <laughs>